Hello, and welcome to Scar House Reservoir. Where has the sun gone? It's looking ridiculously grey up here. We are doing both the Scar House and Angram Reservoir walks, which should be about six miles. This walk is available on the Yorkshire Water website. There's a free car park with free toilets. Bargain. And Scar House Reservoir is just north of Pateley Bridge in Nidderdale. And if you haven't watched the Nid Falls video, you should. And you should stop there on the way to here, because it's just a few miles down the road and it's a lovely waterfall for paddling. Little tiny waterfall in there. There are three waterfalls on the map around here, down by the other reservoir. I don't know how easy they'll be to access with this being owned by Yorkshire Water, but we can try. Oh yeah, big body of water. Can I swim in it? Still no. It's still a reservoir and you're still not allowed to swim in reservoirs in England for the moment. One day that may change. Maybe you're watching this in the future at a time when we are allowed to swim in reservoirs and you're wondering what nonsense I'm talking about. But on the 16th of August 2023, you cannot swim in reservoirs in England. Lots of sheep around here drive very slowly on the way in because there's lots of stupid red grouse around and they really are quite thick. They hear a human walking. Oh no, flee, danger, abandon your babies. They see a car, eh, let's just walk in front of it. Stupid animals, but they're very pretty, so we'll forgive them. Cute but dim, the way I like them. I'd rather have lovely hot sunshine. Those clouds do kind of look cool. Bunnies. Loads of warrens around here. It's a bunny playground. I bet that looks quite spectacular after a bit of rain. Welcome to Angram Reservoir. Little tiny waterfall. Waterfall. Another little waterfall. Looks like it flattens out up there. That's a nice view. I think this must be the one on the map because it's before you get to the wall. Can I swim in it? No, most definitely not. It's very pretty though. I think I might stop here for lunch. These are the waterfalls of Wishing Gill Syke. Can I swim in it? Still no. Little tiny waterfall up there. It's been a fairly flat path so far, but there have been a few stiles to climb over. This weir has water. It's very boggy around here. I believe this is called Stonebeck, and the other two waterfalls should be up here. Very relieved that there isn't a big fence saying keep out. What a nice surprise. And it almost looks like a path here where people have walked before. That's handy. Very nice. Little bit of a scramble to get round that bit. Nothing too tricky. That last little bit was a bit trickier, getting around that bit there. Might try and come back on the other side. That was a bit steep, but that is the sheepfold. So we're nearly there. Uh, might be wading time. Got to get across this somehow. Hmm. Very pretty. And there's another one behind it. That is quite the scramble to get to that one. I made it. That was a little bit scary. A little bit too high. Might just sit and have a coffee before I attempt to get back down. This is high enough. I'm not going any higher than this. There's no more waterfalls on the map above this one. But that is nice. That wasn't too tricky getting back down. I stayed on the side with the sheepfold. It wasn't quite as high that way and it's cut out this bit as well, which is good. And now I need to get my feet wet because I've got to cross back over to avoid this little cliff bit here. So if I'm going to get my feet wet anyway, I should probably ask, can I swim in it? This does look like the deepest of all the pools, but it's probably still only about a foot deep. Now well, we can find out. Well, let's have a go.
thought that was a lovely spot for a nice refreshing dip. Not much of a swim, but still I got wet. So peaceful. Nobody else around. A little bit of scrambling to do now to get back to the path. And then a lot of walking. Yay! I do wonder if this one's deep enough to swim in. Really hard to tell. Less waterfally, but a bit bigger. Give it a go and let me know. Can you swim in this one? I would try, but I'm all soggy still. From the last dip. So I'm going to give it a miss. And we're back on the official footpath. And it's back to being crazy muddy. Quite a nice view. Another weir with water. Wow, very watery weir. Have I got to cross that footbridge? That looks really high. Is that going to be scary? This path's a bit steep. Bit flat for waterfalls up there. And there's none on the map, so we're not going up there. It's probably really boggy around here as well. Yeah, that's one big bog, isn't it? was a bit scary. I just had to free a sheep that had got one horn stuck in that bit and the other one stuck in that bit. He was well and truly trapped and kept wriggling around but luckily he stayed still while I tried to free him. I was a little bit worried that he was going to take my arm off doing that and he's run off now. That's the thanks I get. He's over there. Well that could have ended badly and I think his friends got stuck over here trying to help him. I don't know what to do about that. I think you're going to have to wait till the farmer comes, buddy. So this is the bit where we have to take a little detour. I don't mind if the little detour has a little waterfall. That's very cute, but I don't think I should stand on it. That could end badly. It's a tiny little bridge for bunnies. In heaven, there is no beer. <laughs> they better have donuts. I found another little waterfall. That's very cute. Well, the car park is all the way back over there. But I'm going to say goodbye now because I'm on 1% battery. But I've been here about four hours, I think. And I've done about 11k. And there's maybe a one mile left to go to get back to the car park. What a day it's been. I found all the waterfalls that I was looking for and more. Had a lovely dip in a really nice pool and saved a sheep. I am now queen of the sheep, I think. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, that's high. There's a car coming right at me. This bridge is really reminding me of Bloodborne. I keep thinking a troll or a werewolf is going to jump out and I'm going to have to slash it. I've spent too much time playing Bloodborne. This is exactly the sort of place you'd expect to find some madman's knowledge. No, this is real life. <laughs>